Don't let Biden's trips, stumbles, falls, gaffes, stutters, and brain farts divert your attention from what's happening with the government. This hapless boob makes great cover for bad policy. Biden's superpower is that he is his own distraction. Normally, presidents have to start wars and blow stuff up to divert your attention, like President Bill Clinton did in 1998 with Iraq during the Lewinsky scandal. Biden has a lot of bad ideas and makes a lot of bad decisions. But what doesn't get enough attention is his administration's fetish with expanding the government. It's really not build back better. It's build back bigger. Last month, in the midst of the UAW strike, the Biden administration launched the American Climate Corps. This program will consist of 20,000 paid members. White House Climate Policy Advisor Ali Zahidi says these individuals will, quote, be involved in the work of making our communities more sustainable, more fair, more resilient in the face of a changing climate. It's modeled after FDR's Civilian Conservation Corps and will focus on projects ranging from repairing bridges and planting trees to advancing environmental justice and tackling the climate crisis. A news release from the White House says that the Corps will, quote, train young people in clean energy, conservation, and climate resilience-related skills while helping to streamline pathways into civil service. It's literally a program designed to hire people that will then help hire them later as civil service employees. Talk about redundancy. Without getting into the climate change issue, don't we have enough people working in the government? Couldn't we just reallocate our resources instead of expand? Now, when it comes to the Biden administration, they must be looking to co-opt Texas's motto and make sure that everything is bigger in D.C., Within months of being inaugurated, Biden doubled the IRS, adding 87,000 new agents. Biden has spent nearly $4 trillion on his banner legislation, including the American Rescue Plan, Inflation Reduction Act, and his infrastructure package, all which provided significant funding for new government contracts and grants. Government contractors and grant recipients are also expected to swell in size. In fact, an official in the Transportation Department told the Washington Times that Biden's infrastructure plan alone was expected to add up to 700,000 jobs per year, most of them in manufacturing and construction. The Congressional Research Service estimates that Biden has added more than 80,000 civilian employees to the executive branch. But from a macro level, how big is the United States government? Well, in 2020, there were nearly 4.2 million federal workers. By the end of this year, that's expected to reach nearly 4.8 million. The one thing that needs improvement is the one thing that he has shrunk. The U.S. Postal Service has seen a decline of more than 6,000 employees. Because who the f*** are you to think you deserve to get your mail on time or at all? You see... They want to overrun the country with climate activists and make sure there are plenty of IRS agents to audit and siphon every nickel out of Americans that they can. But essential things like mail, nah. Don't be greedy, you little surf. It's simple, really. Government is getting bigger, but less useful. As Thomas Jefferson said, the course of history shows that as a government grows, liberty decreases. Thanks for listening to Overnight Opinions. Be sure to tune in next Sunday night for an all-new episode. In the meantime, be sure to follow the Ladies Love Politics channel on TikTok, Instagram, and Brighty on Social.